Today, we're opening a vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! collection. What's up, guys? We're back with another epic collection video. And yes, this is not meta stuff. This isn't current stuff. This is old school. This is vintage. This is some really cool stuff that you're going to want to hang around and see. But first, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards, the Magnet Warriors from Duelist of the Roses. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know how much you think I should pay for this collection. All right, guys, we're back with a binder angle. You guys know they're very large and difficult to film, so we're just going to do it this way. And this is a very nice collection. Keep in mind, I want you guys to tell me what you think I should have paid for this. There is some glare, so we're going to do our best to avoid it. There's an Ultimate Rare Proto Cyber from Cybernetic Revolution. Very cool. Ultimate Rare Earthbound Immortal. We've got the Ghost Rare Divine Knight Felgrand. I actually recorded this a second ago and realized I had background music on, so I had to redo it. But this is near mint. We checked it out. Nightmare Wheel First Edition. We've got Raigeki. That's very cool. We've got a Heavy Storms at first. Set. No, it's not. Ooh, look, we've got uh, the Heart Earth. I love this card. Let's see if I can. The only printing for this is in Cosmo Blazer as the Ghost Rare, Ultimate Rare, and Ultra Rare. That's the only place you can get it. So this card's pretty expensive. Uh, it's actually okay in Blue Eyes decks because I have it in my deck. We've got the Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend. You guys know that card. We've, we've uh, you know, opened a few of those. We've got the Majestic Red Dragon. So three, four Ghost Rares on the first page. Not bad. Then we have some more cool stuff. So we've got the Legendary Magician of Dark. I love this card. This card is really cool. This is in World Superstars, which doesn't have a lot of really valuable cards, but this card and the Blue Eyes, uh, I think it's called legendary dragon of white is also in here so these are very nice looking cards then we've got ourselves a gatling dragon this is pretty nice for like old school formats because you can get this thing out with like cyber sign and stuff like that and it's pretty good because you just flip coins and start popping stuff so that's really cool we got the Shein. we've got blue eyes tune is that db1 okay cool what is this arcana for i don't know if i've ever seen this card arcana force ex the dark ruler very cool an ultimate rare Pikaru circle of enchantment we've got a vanity's ruler right here which is really nice oh elemental hero flame wingman that's a oh is this a uh uh, elemental hero collection yeah this is from the elemental hero collection which is a pretty nice version it's a secret rare i don't know the exact value but i'll be having stuff popping up on the screen you guys know how it goes banisher the radiance is probably nice for like some weird format uh as an ultimate rare i what is it even from enemy of justice i didn't even realize that that must be i think that's a retail ulti so that's really cool uh arm dragon level seven we've got ourselves the uh dark revelation version we've got a couple of grand neo so are these ultimate rares oh look at the difference Look at the difference between these two cards. This is a first edition strike of Neos. Look at the background. It's not very prominent. Look at this unlimited. The circles on the back are way different. That is pretty wild, actually. So the unlimited actually looks a lot cooler, I think. But obviously, it's not going to be worth as much because it is not first edition. Both ultimate rares, which is super cool. I wonder what these conditions are. The condition looks pretty good overall i mean there's a little dimple in it right there but overall i mean there's some scratches on it but that's pretty nice overall for an ultimate rare from strike of neos we've got a stratos here which is cool for all those elemental hero collectors and infernal fire blast from soul of the duelist crystal seer just a lot of ultimate rares which is really nice oh look we've got the uh the dark magician girl that's very oh look at this this is such a cool card look at this card sacred phoenix Sacred Phoenix of Nephthys. I just totally butchered that, probably cutting that out because that just sounded ridiculous. Um, <laughs> very cool. It has a little nick at the top, but wow, check that card out. Ultimate rare. Back does have that scuffing, but if you guys know Flaming Eternity, that's pretty normal. There's also a Mystic Swordsman level six, Dark Magic Attack. This is a lot of really cool old school. Oh, look, an Air Neos. This is so exciting. This is why, like, when people say they have stuff, I try not to look at everything so that I can be excited, like, when I check it out. Very cool. Air Neos unlimited print. Very, very cool. All right. Elemental Hero Air Neos front looks pretty good back looks pretty nice I mean, these are very nice condition cards Which is whenever I buy these collections people tell me like what condition they're in usually and sometimes they're accurate And sometimes they're a little bit exaggerated or they're off or whatever So it's always nice when they come in they're actually in very, you know solid condition or whatever So there's another that's from the Elemental Hero collection as well the burst in tricks Let's see. This is a lot of Elemental Heroes Neos Wiseman Marksman is actually a pretty big card I think bubble man is cool dark bright is very nice as well. We got another grand Neos this guy uh, uh, was a big strike of Neos fan, it seems like. The Elemental Hero Neos, that's from the Collector 10. It's like the highest rarity, I think, at this point. And then a Magma Neos. Then we've got, oh, look. Wait, isn't Glow Neos from Strike of Neos? Yeah, Glow Neos is. So he, this guy was a huge Strike of Neos fan. We got a Plague Wolf. I have never seen that card. That's from Force of the Breaker. That's very cool. Oh, you bell Very cool. I think the last collection we bought had this as well, which is fun. If you guys didn't see that collection video, go check it out. We got another Vanities Ruler down here. Is this a Blue Eyes? That's SDK Unlimited. Very cool. Um, Cyber Phoenix, Feather Shot. We've got a playset of gold. Old God cards, which is cool. We Dark Rebellion XC's Dragon. Do I own? 
own this card? I don't know if I do. I think I own this in Ultimate Rare only. I don't think I own this in Ghost. So this will be added to the Ghost Rare binder, which if you guys want to see my binder collection, let me know in the comments because I've been considering making a binder video. I got to get a little bit more organized, but I think it'd be pretty fun. Then we've got another Red Eyes Flare Metal. I don't have an Unlimited. So if I want to go Unlimited and First Edition, I would need that one. Um, a Blaze, Tri Blaze Accelerator is very cool. A PSV Genzo. Is that a reverse foil? I think it is a reverse foil. That's very nice right there. I believe that's a reverse foil. And then we've got the old uh, regular foil with the Dark Magician Girl. Very cool. And then a Elemental Captain Gold. It's just an Ultra. Over here we have, is that a Cyber Dark Dragon? Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's a heck of a card. Cyber Dark Dragon from CDIP. I've not seen a raw one of these since we opened our own, which is like two years ago. Flashback. Ritual Forgone, Combo Fighter, Flame Ogre, Vanity's Call. It's a fusion, guys. If this is an ultimate rare, it has to be either Cyber Ogre or Cyber Dark Dragon. <gasps> no! Upside down! Cyber Dark Dragon. Oh my goodness. End of flashback. Three, was this three years ago? Oh my goodness. It was 2019 at this point. So almost a full three years at this point. Okay, so it does have a, I mean, that's some nicks on it. It's not perfect, but th is that not a beautiful card, guys? That card looks amazing. There's some scratches on the back. Maybe like lightly played on that one. That's really cool. Okay, it's hard to say with that. That can maybe be lightly played. Maybe like moderately played because of that nick, but a nice moderate play for sure. Then in here we have an Aqua Neos. There's also a, I don't know what this card, an Exarch of Dark World. I've never seen that card either. Some cards I've never seen. We've got a Neo, uh, Neo Gal. Galaxy Eyes Photon, which is cool. Black Rose Dragon Ultimate Rare. Let's see if we can get that. Unlimited, but still cool. Vanity's Fiend. Goblin Attack Force from Pharaoh's Servant. Cyclone Boomerang. What is this? Okay, that, there's like a Rush Duel kind of card. I'm not sure what that one is. Is this a Wild Edge Rare? That's interesting. It's from DP03, a Wild Edge Rare. Very interesting. Okay, cool. This Cyber Jar right here is from Hobby League. That's cool. That's pretty unique. Um, Ultimate Rares. Dark Panther and Neo Space. I love that card. I think that one looks really good. Oh man, here's a sick one. We have Elemental Hero Tempest. So this one does seem to have some where maybe like moderately played or something. We're about to find out, I guess. The Elemental Hero. Oh, this one has like a bend in it. Yeah. Okay. So it's pretty beat up, but it is a really, man, in, in the sleeve, it actually looked really good. So yeah, this is like maybe damaged or something or heavily played or something, but still an absolutely beautiful card. You do not see these very often. If you guys remember, we used to have the PSA 10. <laughs> It had a good run. And not only that, we have the Haman Lord of Striking Thunder. I want to check this one out as well. Let's see if it's damaged. This is another one you just don't see floating around. So the corners look like they have some edge wear, maybe a little bent. Oh, this one's a lot better than the Tempest, though. This one's like maybe mod play, maybe even light play. I got to get look at it a little more closely, but that's a really beautiful card. Haman Lord of Striking Thunder, ultimate rare from Shadow Infinity First Edition. All right, and then we got another Plague Wolf. We got a Treeborn Frog over here. We've got a Ghost Rare Dragon. Dragon Knight Draco Equist, very cool. And then uh, Arm Changer. We got an Elemental Hero Neos Knight. Definitely a lot of Elemental Hero stuff. Um, Exploder Dragon Wing is cool. Uh, Phantasmal Exastag. That's a cool card. You don't see a lot. Queen's Knight is nice. Ravael, that's a first edition ultra rare. Very cool. Hero Flash is cool. We had, no, it's not this one. I have a PSA 10. I have the, uh, the, all the heroes in the one picture. What is it called? I already forgot, but it's a really nice looking card. Elements Hero, the Shining. Got a Plasma Vice. Me uh, Mobius, the Mega Monarch, and an Excalibur Ghost Rares. LOB-EN, Blue Eyes White Dragon. We got another Glow Neos. A Horus, the Black Flame Dragon, level six. This is a really nice page. Wow. Graceful Charity Secret Rare is really cool. We got a Wild Wingman. Man, am I going to be able to sell any of this stuff? Like, I always, I like all this too much. That is, that's always the issue. On here, we have Noble Master, Exiled Force. What is that? LOD first. Cool. Princess Karan, Feather Shot, Miss Valley Baby Rock, Zen Meister. We got an Invasil, Panthawoya, Energy Absorbing Monolith. Okay, Tempest, what is that? EEN Unlimb, that's pretty cool ultra rare. We've got the Hero Flash, we got the Ocean, we got, oh, a Dark Neos. Is this a, whoa, is this an ultimate rare? It's not even double sleeved. Okay, no respect for the Dark Neos. It does have a little ding at the bottom. Okay, that's pretty nice. Uh, definitely a ding right there. It's hard. Yeah, there we go. A little bit of a different angle, so it's kind of hard to show. Yeah, so that's a pretty bad ding in it. But overall, a really, really cool card. Oh, the bottom. Yeah, look at the bottom. There it is. Okay, yeah, it took me forever to do that. With this different lighting, like every, I mean, it's in a different spot, so everything's a little bit backward. So it's kind of hard to show. There's a King's Knight Ultimate Rare, so that goes with the Queen's Knight. Do we have a Jack's Knight in here? Oh, Grand Mole First Ed Ultimate Rare. That's nice. Um, we've got Uriah. 
Another Shining Phoenix Enforcer. This is EOJ Unlimited. We got another Dark Panther. We've got the brow was very cool. Then we have, what is in here? Oh, Pot of Greed Ultimate Rare. Very nice. Another Leviathan Dragon. I've been getting a lot of these recently, which is cool. One of my one of my uh, cards that I've been looking for for a long time. I can't show it like this. Wait, we're going to pull it out. Yeah, I was trying to pull this for forever and I just couldn't. Wow, I can't get a good angle on this. It just looks gray. Everything is gray. Leviathan Dragon. And then we have the Jax Knight. So that's really cool. A Democ. Very nice. Over here, it looks like some of the stuff has been pulled out. We got a Gigamantis Star Eater. Amazon is Chainmaster is cool. Yeah, Gigamantis is just a nice looking card. I really like that one. Dark Magician Girl again. We got a Jumbo Drill. Sergeant Electro is very cheap, but very uh, nostalgic for dual links purposes. Very cool. And is that it? Is that everything? Okay, wow. So that was a pretty impressive binder. I mean, a lot of really, really cool cards. Let me know what your favorite one was in the comments. Don't forget to let me know what you think I should have paid for this because, I mean, there's a lot of really good stuff. I try to show some of the big cards condition so you get a little better estimate of what you should pay if you guys enjoyed the collection video make sure to subscribe to the channel because we're going to be opening more cool stuff like this in the future as well as old school openings etc shout out to tcg trust cards don't Fo show tomato juice noah j stanley mike nance mimic echo duelist king cards spanky mcfarland g raider and daxter thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys next time peace